Good evening, everybody. So let us start our lecture this evening, and as usual, let us see our schedule first. Okay. So according to our schedule, so next class time. So next Tuesday will be your test one. Okay, your test one will be your during your class time. So we are not meeting here. So there will not be in the, no class, no class in next week, next Tuesday only exam time. Okay, you will take your test either from home or you can come here. But now I'm not coming, or you can take any uh, in, in, at any place. So you need to ensure that you have a good computer and interrupted internet service, and you have a webcam. Okay. So your test will be available in D two L. So everybody has access to D2L, right? So if you go to D2L, so in your course, so in your course section, in your course, in the quizzes section, okay, in the quizzes section, you will see that your test here. It is not uploaded yet. Okay, it will be uploaded by the weekend. Okay. So you will take your test here. And in order to take your test, you must need to complete this respondent setup quiz for one line test. This one. So it will just guide you to set up a uh, lockdown browser, just a software. And please do it soon, before the weekend. It will take you just a few minutes, but in case your computer does not support or if there is any issue, you need to call UITS. I cannot help. That one, okay, you may need to call UITS help desk. So, if you find an issue in setting up your browser, so lockdown browser means during your test, you will not be allowed to do Google search or anything, you will not be allowed to open any Eclipse or Eclipse or uh, replete any ID. You will write your code just freehand. You will type in your code like on ND12. Okay, so we will go through this on uh, more details. So your test will cover so module one, two, module part of module three, up to inheritance. Okay, up to inheritance, and from here. Okay, there are only four or five questions. You will get 50 minutes to check the test. Only one chance, okay? So if you, in any case, yes. No, you don't need any sorting algorithm. Okay, so there's no sorting algorithm. We did not mention that sorting algorithm, okay? Okay. So, your test, your, your our lecture time is here, at, it started at 6.30, right, 6.30 p.m. So, your test will start at 6 p.m., 30 minutes before the lecture time, and it will be ended 30 minutes after the lecture time. So, when we, we wrap up our lectures, 8, Yes, 6 to 8, 15, yeah, test will be available. You must need to start between that time. Better start as early as possible, okay? Okay, so, like so far, we discussed 10 programs, right, about 10 programs. I asked you to practice. If you practice those 10 programs, you should be good for your test. Okay. So, there is no MCQ. There is no MCQ type question. Just you will be asked like to write some course and then. Okay, we will go through some examples soon. Okay, and then I will go through some old test questions. Like if you go to CC, SE, and then go to resources page, and then go to old exams. 1321 and 1322 all exams. So there is one set all exam here. Okay. So this year 
our course module is reshuffled okay so you i like you to open all of this okay and to check which one we have covered so for instance interface we have not covered yet interface will, will not be in the test and abstract class we have not covered yet so abstract class will not be in your test okay we have covered class decoration we have covered inheritance right so you will get a question about class writing constructors uh, getter setters two string method okay over writing two string method and creating object okay printing something to object printing object okay in to inherit a class for instance you will create a class and then you inherit that class you will create another class something like this okay and you will have question from reference parameter although reference parameter is only is i, I discussed c sharp has only ref keyword but everybody has to know that so also java people so this course is language independent so in the theory part we are not distinguishing anything that you are taking java lab or you are taking c sharp lab we don't care we are learning basic object oriented programming concept in both languages right so you cannot tell that that so professor i am taking java lab why did you ask me question for c sharp no at the beginning of our course we told you that our goal is to teach you two languages in theory but in lab is different okay this course has no relation with lab i'm not teaching lab right you may get an a in lab but you may fail in this course you may get an a in this course you may fail in lab okay so before i go through anyone has any question general question about the test okay keep your eyes on the d12 announcement i will key i will put some announcement okay here by the weekend or so and especially you know that uh, i uploaded my lecture video right in my youtube channel so watch the le my lecture videos as many as you can so far we will have including this lecture we will have eight lectures right so if you follow this eight lectures you should be good and especially the yes last yesterday's lecture and today's lecture last the last lecture and today's lecture if you follow then you will get more benefited okay okay so today we will discuss whatever we are discussing about start class but before i go to that i like to discuss some common mistakes okay that's people student too okay i wish you will not do that mistake okay for instance this is the this is the program code written in c sharp okay that i got some answer that some student answered that i'm taking java lab i'm not supposed to answer this okay we don't care you need to know this okay so if you get a question like this for reference parameter you need to i discuss one specific problem like this okay and i discuss with live program and my program is available in in my github account and replit account okay for instance you see that how we did great for instance if it's 10 point then 5 is here and then 5 is here so if for the part one part that part it has three answers if you do correct at least two then you may get a partial credit okay we usually do not give partial credit but if you for instance at least two needs to be true correct any for instance for this one like this one for this question please practice okay make some changes in the in the maybe there is a question like this in the here in test one test two or test three maybe somewhere practice this okay 
and make changes to the value and then make changes to the reference x, x or y or both and try to understand what is going on then you will understand okay java works with only call by value and c sharp works both call by value and call by reference okay okay so same thing similar you see that for for instance the common mistake you said the my print line it has x plus then space and then plus y space and plus z do i have comma in between to print we don't have any comma right the someone he put comma sometime we we forgive this mistake but maybe we may not forgive because the grader may not forgive you okay grader may give case so because it's simple we are asking about the print what will be the output okay output needs to should be okay if there is no comma specific see that this problem is that you understand so i like you do not do this kind of mistake look at your code and look at what is asked to do okay now let us see do you see that my it is readable my screen okay So in your choice of pseudocode C++ or C sharp but okay I will tell you that we are not allowing to write pseudocode because of, for class decoration writing pseudocode is, uh, needs a lot of code better is, is better to write code in specific languages especially it will be more or less common but otherwise if you write in pseudocode for every method you have to do start begin end okay that is difficult okay for this one can we see that what are the uh, uh, mistakes in here can we check if you are asked to grade this one okay how do we grade it how will you grade it what are the mistake do you see any mistake here in this code so we are asked to write a dog class right the dog class is here a dog object should have three attributes a name and age and weight three variables right name is are this here available the dog attributes are not available right so here the mistake is that what the, my class will be okay is a dog class do you see any mistake in this line at the beginning line do you see any mistake what is that yeah it should not have parentheses right it must not have parentheses okay so it has this good it has name is and then these are good so here the major mistake is that there is a here you see there are just this point there is a parenthesis okay and if we go you see the display method a method must return something right return value it does not return if it does not return it needs to have a void right and it should have public void it should have public void but something is missing i did not grade this method but i if i would grade this i would I, so maybe uh detect more points someone another grader graded it but i'm telling you the mistakes okay where analysis is missing getter setter is missing right I do not, you do not see any getter and setter method over here. Okay, the way, good way to me not to do this kind of mistake is just practice programming. Write your code, okay? So this student seems to me he or she did not practice programming. He or she learned some concept superficial, not in depth. So you understand? Anyone has any question? Okay. Okay, for this one, another another question. Can we see any mistake here? What mistakes over here? So this this student is trying was trying to write maybe pseudocode or something. Is it, a, it is a mix of pseudocode and the code. 
लाइक मिक्स अप कोड एंड सुल्डो कोड राइट इस इस क्लास ए क्लास बिगिंस विथ ए पेरेंटेसिस राइट विथ विथ कार्ली बेस राइट मे बी ही और शी वांटेड टू राइट सुल्डो कोड ओ इस इस सुल्डो कोड ही क्लिक अवर हियर ठीक है And see, this writing pseudo code. Writing pseudo code will take more. Says so I see that there are many things missing here. Do you see that? What are the mistakes? <laughs> no, sir. Is the do I need to write constructor? This word. There is no keyword constructor, right? Okay. Same thing. Same issue that this student did not practice. Like next one, how would you grade this one? So class talk, string name, okay, that's it. Uh, I don't know what is this print. You say main. <laughs> Do you see anything worthy here? Would it run this code? Huh? Some of the graders gave six out of ten. That is failing grade, right? So my understanding is that if you can do this problem, you can write a program for this. You should be able to do the class for any, any, right? I tell you, if you have, if you give it a, like dog class or cat class, you should be able to write that, right? If you understand for dog class. If you are given student class, anyone class, three class, bini class, no matter. Right? Look at the class name, right? And look at the attribute names, and then look at what do you ask. You need. I will be asked to get around setter methods, constructor, right? There are two kinds of constructor. One is default constructor, and another is overloaded constructor. And two string method overloading, right? Okay. Anyone has any comment? Okay, like this one again. You see the mistake over here. The dog. They say dog class dog with the with the parenthesis. You see that parenthesis right after dog. Uh, Professor Mokter, I have a I have a question. Yes. Um, for if we get a question for a um creating a dog class, will we get extra credit points if we name the dogs Terry, Jerry, and Derry? So if you are asked to create an object, then the object, dog object name, you can give any name, Teddy, Jerry, or whatever you like. But when you are asked to say the class name is given is dog, a class for a dog, okay? All right, thank you. But here, my, my our, the, the mistake we are catching that here, the, you see that, the parenthesis here, you see this? You don't see this, right? You see the parenthesis? That yes, is the I mistake. The the, yes. Okay, that is a great mistake over here. And if this code will not work. Okay. Okay, and then even here, what he is doing to do it? Maybe he was trying to write greater uh, constructor, right? Is this a complete constructor? Okay. Okay. So, okay, this is for, this is for, for Abostart class. The last two. Okay, the last two is for Abostart class, although we will not have any, you will have not have any question for the Abostart class for this test. But as we got it here, let us review it. Okay, let us check it. Do you see any mistake here in this in this code? Anyone see any mistake here in this code? I see there is a great mistake over here. This student did not practice any program with with an Abstract class. Mm 
anybody got any effect? So what is the abstract method over here? Which one is the abstract method? An abstract class must should contain an abstract method, right? So what is the abstract method over here? So in the question, this is the question. What is the abstract method? It says in the in the problem it says that here it need an, an abstract method animal detail right so the animal detail is an abstract method right okay so it's, if it is an abstract method then can it have a body can it have a body if it has a body it's, it's, this student tried to give an empty body no it's not allowed because an abstract method cannot have a body even it is empty if it has a body then this is not an abstract okay and also there is missing what what should be over here we need a return type over here right this means return type is missing right okay and maybe i'm not going in depth for instance here is some student this student is good but some student write inherited inheritance is there any keyword inheritance okay in in java we write extends this is in plural in c sharp we use just colon right single colon right simple in c sharp okay anyone has any any question the last one i have one more maybe let me see if this can okay so this one same maybe same thing do you see that you see that uh, that response of these student questions here she got six out of out of 20 what are the mistakes over here you see that abstract class animal right so abstract class animal this this type is good and then it has name id and then those are actually okay it should have public private protected but it's okay for now but what is this one it should have an abstract method animal detail right so is this method animal detail an abstract method here is this an abstract method what is missing over here Huh? Yeah, it missing public abstract void. We need abstract over here, right? We need we need abstract. I'm sorry, abstract keyword. Okay, and then if it is abstract, can it have a body? Okay, what else? Do you see any more mistake here? Okay, we did not discuss this. There is another mistake over here. Implements is used for inheriting interface. But this is abstract class. Okay, it needs extends. Okay, so we will we or maybe we will discuss it today about next next lecture. So I'm not discussing this one now. So I just discuss few common mistakes. Okay, I like I hope you will not do this kind of mistake. Okay, so these are anonymous, right? Do you see any name? No, string name. Okay, it's not my goal to humiliate anyone, but just to teach you something. So, are this helpful for you? Huh? Yes.
No, our program shows that how to write correct way. If you know the programs, then you should not do the mistake. So in my, uh, let us go to our program. Okay. So in our last, in our last lecture, right? So we discuss. We discuss mainly two programs: dog main class in C sharp and dog main class in Java. So if you understand these two, this they are, this is the, the real code, these are the actual code, right over here. So you know how to get my code, you know. So this if you go to my Replit account, so you go Replit, Replit, then dot it, repl dot it, then at the rate, then my username. Just type in, and you see that my repls. These are the codes, okay. And open it, and then you can copy this code and put in your account and practice this, okay. Or you can copy this code even in in Eclipse or NetBean or Zgraphs or IntelliJ, whatever, whatever you like. Okay. Then run this program and try to understand. Okay. So here mammal class we discuss and then we extended mammal class. We created two classes, dog class and cat class. So, if you know this program, only one program, you should be able to answer it 60 percent in test. Only one program. So now, so class name. I want to copy this code. Actually, I want to, I want to copy this code in Eclipse. If we go Eclipse, then it's better. So inheritance, inheritance, inheritance. Okay, so I will copy the entire code and I will put in here. Eclipse has the facility that if you copy and paste the code, so if it is has, is, has a class, it has a class that is make complete class, then it will make automatically everything. Okay, so this is an advantage I like Eclipse. It may be uh, true for other some other good ideas but not for replit so one of the thing is that in eclipse the class name is main over here right so it must be a public class and in replit you do not need to be public and in class file wise there can have only one public class so here you cannot have more than one public class. So I can say to to so main so mem I, I can re I want to rename this class. So it's easy. You see the right button, click on right, refactor rename, say mammal main. Mammal main class. So press enter. So this is our main class. So it start here, the line number three, and then it ends in line number fifty-five. You see that, correct? And then my abstract class is mammal class. Mammal class it start in line number fifty-seven. So if you take your mouse, put your mouse over here, go down. It will tell you where it is ended. 
you see it is ended here it's easy to see right the dog class started here in 20 124 you see that you can have only one public class per file you could copy and paste this code and put another file like as a cat as a dog dot java but for simplicity i'm putting it one over here so here in line number 125 if i go down then you will see that my cat class ended here dog class ended at 202 and then my cat class started 207 if i take my mouse here 208 it will if i scroll down it will tell me where it is ended see that it's easy so a class can contain another class but these classes are independent okay these classes are independent so so these classes are independent mammal class has is outside of the cat class dog class is outside of the cat class so these classes are independent okay so in our last lecture we discussed this abstract class but let us see our slide our slide here If we go to resource space here and I will start classes. So we skipped polymorphism. Okay, I will discuss polymorphism later. So in the test, it will not be for a question for polymorphism, but uh, I'm going that. so an abstract class. So let us review. What is an abstract class? A class that contains an abstract method. Right? So, what is an abstract method? A method that has just signature, nobody. Right? Um, professor, I had a quick question about abstract classes. Yes. Um, could you use an abstract class to you to execute static class methods without having to instantiate the class? Mm, say your question again. I I, I got lost. Could you use an abstract class to execute static class methods, as in methods bound to the class and not any uh, instances of the class? You could use that to. Could you use an abstract class to execute static class methods without okay. actually? Okay. 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 That's a good question. Maybe uh, if I have time today, I will show you with uh, program code. Okay. If I can go to live program code again back, then I will show you. But uh, my goal is to wrap up by 7:30 today. If I have time, then I will discuss this. Otherwise, please remind me that in next class, okay? In the after test. It's a good question. We will see in, in, in uh, live program. So, what we discussed in our last class that, so for instance, if mammal class had a, an abstract method, an abstract method that means if this method has no body implementation, okay? Then this is an abstract class, the abstract uh, method. So then if a class contains an abstract method, then class must be an abstract class. So what is the limitation of the abstract class? An abstract class cannot be instantiated to create a variable, an object. Okay? That is the limitation. But what is the advantage of having an abstract class? The advantage is that and abstract class ensures that so this method must be implemented by the child class okay so look, like sometimes we we say in, in our real life we say multimedia so maybe people not right now people like few years ago people say that multimedia vehicle multimedia vehicle right so if a vehicle did have a like iPad or something, touchpad on the dashboard, okay, then it could call a multimedia vehicle, right? But that, that is like multimedia car or something. So in order to be a multimedia vehicle, so like the vehicle uh, builder association could ensure that in order to be a multimedia vehicle, it must be a multimedia system. No matter how do you implement, how the different builders implement that multimedia system. Some company use thousand dollar 
आईपैड और सम कंपनी प्रोड्यूस लाइक हंड्रेड डॉलर लाइक टैबलेट समथिंग लाइक दैट नो मैटर बट इट कूड बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड मास्ट बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड फॉर इंस्टेंट द फॉर ऑल मेमोल्स वी नीड द मेक साउंड ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू बी ए मेमोल एन एक्टिव मेमोल ए लाइव मेमोल ए डॉग मास्ट बी मेक्स मास्ट मेक साउंड राइट ए कैट मास्ट मेक साउंड ए खाओ मास्ट साउंड बट द वे ए डॉग मेक्स सम साउंड इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ए काउ राइट एंड और ऑल्सो फ्रॉम ए कैट राइट so these animals all of these are mammals but they all of them they make sound but differently okay so if you say so if we did not have this abstract if we say you would have a regular class then what would happen so then there is no obligation that this implementation in the subclass would be different this could be same or a this could be skipped okay our writing could be skipped but when we make this abstract we must ensure it will ensure that it must be implemented even if it is empty okay so make sound right this is the method like right? so let us add this this method let us see that how many slides do you have a few slides let us go to slides and then again Okay, so the limitation is that when we we have this abstract method, this mammal class cannot be instantiated. We cannot use constructor. This is the mistake. Okay, but here we can use mammal type. We will discuss this during our polymorphic polymorphism. Maybe if I have time today, I'll discuss this. Okay, maybe I can discuss it. Let us see. So. see the slides okay so here so this class will be called mammal class will be called abstract class and this class will be called concrete class the class that specifically uh, like uh, what is this called implement or put body of this abstract method that will be called an abstract class Sorry, a concrete class. So this class will be an abstract class, and this will be concrete class. In order to create an object, we need a concrete class. Concrete means you can say complete. So this is incomplete, right? We cannot have a body of of this. So let us go to our code. So here, in my mammal class, what is my mammal class? So mammal class, right? So I can say. Sorry, what is my code over here? I have a stack make sound. So make sound. So some people like to say, I, as I showed you, like to say, like code this way. Is this correct? An incomplete incom code? No, it is showing an error, right? So what do we need to make this complete? Return type, right? Even it does not have anything, we say void. Okay, then it is do good, right? There is no complaint. So, how can we make this abstract? Huh? Okay, like writing abstract keyword. So, when you make abstract, then you cannot have a body. You see that error? Even if it is empty, oh no, there is no way that you can have. Okay, then what is happening? So, you can say public. No matter even say public or void, you see that it is getting an error on this this. What is the error it says? As soon as I made this, okay, as soon as uh, I made uh, this abstract and my program is, is making error, right? So what does it says? The type cat must implement the inherited abstract method mammal dot make sound you see that little spawned you see this one i was reading 
than of this one. What does this mean? That means this means that let's click over check mark. So the cat class it is inheriting the mammal. Mammal has an abstract method, but the cat did not implement that abstract method. So the fix there are two fixes. How can I fix this error? There are two fixes. If you hover your mouse over here, it will show you there are two quick fixes. Okay, number two. Let us come from the bottom. The number two is make type cat abstract. Okay. If I make my cat class abstract, then it will be fixed. Okay. Okay. Let us try to do this. Okay. Fix two. Okay. Then my cat class is getting abstract. Okay. I made cat class abstract, right? So then my error, that error is gone. But it may. What is the limitation? Now, do you find any limitation for the cat class? You see that it is giving another error. What is that? As soon as I did it, it is giving me another error. What is that? So now cat became abstract, right? Now I cannot use this. I cannot create an instance of cat. See the problem? So our second fix is not good, right? For this case at least. Okay? So second fix, let us keep the second fix. So then we are just I undo this. I did undo, okay? So then what is the first fix? First one. Add unimplemented methods, right? So what is my unimplemented method over here? The make sound method, right? Just if I click over here, just add unimplemented method. You see that somewhere in my cat class, it is getting make sound. This is the implementation, even it is empty, empty implementation, okay? It is making an empty million. Now it is happy. Even it is empty. Understand? Okay. So now, if we understand, then this override keyword is optional here. And even you turn this, this will work. Okay. Then, is there any error? There is another error over here, right? So if you click over here. So again, same problem. What is that? The type dog must implement the inherited abstract method mammal dot make sound. So still, it has two same two fixes. Okay, either I can make the dog as an abstract class, or I can make do the right click. Just put your hover your mouse unimplemented method, right? Then my error will be gone. Okay, so then all of my errors are gone. As soon as you save that, you need to save the program. Then all errors are gone, and then you can do this. You can run your program. Okay, so this is in so this is in C plus plus. Sorry, uh, Java, right? So in my program, where is my Java code? Mammal class. Okay, sorry. So then I need implementation of those. It must be at the end. We copy this. I need to put this both in my dog class. Anywhere within the dog class or cat class, then you will be fine. Okay, not within another method. Okay, to put outside of another method, then it is fine over here for the cat class. And we put here uh, for the dog class anywhere, not inside any class, any method. Okay, then program should run 
okay i'm sorry so what is that one oh sorry this is uh, this is this is this is this is c sharp right so how okay so how do i fix that in c sharp c sharp does not have uh, has override keyword right okay let me put uh, okay so then how do i fix this we do not have this so we need public over our right keyword make sound that will do and here there is nothing okay and it should work is it working right you see that okay let us do the same thing at this in my java class also so in the java class okay mammal right so in the mammal we added this one So here in the mammal class anywhere you can put but not inside any class method okay so then if I want to do run this then you will show me error because I have not implemented make sound method within my dog class and cat class Okay. this is showing main error so I need implementation all the way and I have an implementation maybe an MT should be fine for now so dot class this is my dot class I can put anywhere this is my cat class I can put anywhere and it should work so anyone has any question okay please practice this okay please practice this and okay. now someone asked a question that now let us go to that, that one slide i escaped <coughs> this slide okay if you understand this slide if you understand only this slide okay this slide you will understand 40 percent concept of object oriented programming 40 percent object oriented programming concept you will understand and this will be an interview question and okay so <coughs> we said that whenever we have mammal class and abstract we could not use this mammal class to instantiate an, an object right we already know that right because even the mammal class did have a constructor we could not call this right so we already know that right you do understand why this is the nature of an abstract class an abstract class cannot be instantiated by definition okay now the question is that can we use this statement mammal m equal to new dog or mammal m equal to new cat or mammal m equal to new cow can you use this okay this needs to be crystal clear okay this concept needs to be crystal clear so if you see this in a second in a few seconds you should answer this exactly correctly and if you can answer this correctly then I will assume that you understand 40% or 50% concept of object oriented programming. Okay, first of all, before I answer this question, let us go one slide above. So let us see this slide. Okay, and ask a question. Ask some questions. Okay, I will ask you some question and you will answer to me. Okay, okay. Are all dog mammals? 
everybody understand this I, if i ask are all dogs mammal yes or no all dogs are mammals right okay then you can say all dogs are mammal ask a question the assignment operator what does assignment operator do it, it put the right side value to the left side right the assignment operator what it does it puts the usually so the right side value goes to the left side right so ask a question are all dogs mammal if it is true then this is valid and your if your answer is false then it is invalid so are all cat mammal okay are all cow mammals obviously yes well then then these are valid okay now but if i write a statement for instance okay two things we, we discuss that and and I will start class okay for now let us think okay over here okay okay could we say like this I want to say like this could we say cat c equal to new can I say this? Can I say dog D equal to new mammal? Or, or if I say cat C1 equal to new mammal? Okay. These three, if you understand these three statements, you will understand everything. Okay, first of all, ask same question. Are all cat cat? Yes. All cats are cats, right? Are all cat cat? Yes, so this statement is true. Okay, are all mammals dog? No, right? There are some mammals that are not dog. Who are they? We don't need to say that. Okay, we don't need to know that what is the order this, those. But we know that all mammals are not dog, so this is an invalid statement. So you cannot have this statement. Similarly, if you ask question, are all mammals cat? No, because there are some mammals that are not cat. There are dog, there are cow, there are goat, right? There are human being, man. So this is an invalid. This is a, a really make an error. So understand this? So if you understand this question, you will understand the concept of object oriented programming like 50%. So if I would I would interview anybody for any of my students, if I would interview, I would ask them like this question. Only this few six, seven, eight questions. Okay. If I ask, if you can answer these six, seven, eight questions, then you understand 50% concept of object oriented programming. We can check in two minutes. Let us see what are the problems. Because these, these codes, is, uh, these are related to the PBS2 problems. So it says an abstract class person, right? I don't need to say what else we have in between. So a person is an abstract class, right? And what else in this set says? It says, I mammal is an interface. Okay. And it says a teacher is a person. Okay. A teacher is a is, a, is an abstract class. Person is an abstract class, and teacher is a concrete class. A teacher is a concrete class. Okay. So we have how many classes we have? We have person class, abstract class. We have teacher class, that is concrete class. And we have I mammal class that is an interface. Okay, we will discuss interface in our next lecture. But so we will uh, search for now. We will skip those whatever you have interface. Okay, for now let us skip this.
this for now this one for for few this one okay mm, i'm sorry okay so ask a little ask a question are all teachers teacher okay but are all teachers teachers okay then it is it should it is true okay but then are all person teacher no right it is no in one's own way and there is another mistake is that i will tell you like this one are all person person yes but so in this case is this a valid or invalid it seems to be valid but i'm giving you some clue it seems to be valid but according to our class decoration our person class was our start class right so a never start class cannot be instantiated so this is false you understand Okay, so whatever we have right side is person. What you call the person class? Sorry. What is the person class again? So person class was our in, uh, abstract class. The uh, here, class? yeah, what you mean? abstract class. So it has person name and then is retired or not. So we, we don't need to see what it contains. But for instance, in general, okay, so a person class was an abstract class. Okay, so an abstract class cannot be instantiated. So at the right right way, we can see that wherever we see the person class is right side, those are those are incorrect. So wherever we see the person right side, okay, those are we can say those are invalid in one one way. So this one is not good. So this one is not good. Okay, likely actually an in, an interface cannot be instantiated. So whenever you see interface on the right side, this is invalid. So this is an interface. So we got this incorrect, right? Now ask a question: Are all teachers teachers? Yes. So this is true. Okay. Okay. So the object class is the top level class. Okay. So that cannot be instantiated so this is invalid okay so this is valid sorry object class is not an abstract class but this is valid okay and human okay so are all human teacher no some human are student right and non teachers so this is false okay are all human human so this is true okay are all object human no there are some objects non human right so this is false okay then the last one are all human object yes that is true maybe we will recap this again later okay if you understand this, only this, you can understand that. Then you will understand 50% concept of object of program. It has inheritance, it has concept of class, object, right? Abstract class interface. Anyone has any question? Will. Did you have any question, Will? I'm good. Okay, good. thank you. So please practice, okay? And again, I'm giving you a reminder that next class, we are not meeting in next class. In next class, you have to take your test, okay? Okay, please prepare, uh, be prepared for the test. And I wish everybody will take the test. And if you practice this program that I discussed for the last few days, few lectures, then you should be good. Okay, thank you so much. And everybody, uh, have a good day. Yeah, yeah. Anyone has any question? Okay, thank you.